Hello everyone and welcome back to Norland. This is Bob's Dynasty and this is part number three. I hope you've enjoyed the first couple of parts so far. Um, yeah, we've made some, made some good progress here, I guess. We've got little patrol routes going on. We've got uh, good living quarters for everybody. But the big thing we need to focus on this episode is learning uh, a couple of bits. We need to learn how to make beer and learn how to trade. Because if my memory serves me correctly, it's been a few days since I played this. We have got um, beer trading opportunities. Uh, I'm pretty sure the that's what they buy and that's what they sell. I have to remind myself here. Um, hang on. No, I remember myself with the buttons. Here we go. Uh, yeah, there you go. Look, set, the city buys beer and sells iron. And Moon Lake down here, I'm fairly certain, does the same thing. It does indeed. Now, we, of course, don't have a trade agreement with them right now, which is why that is grayed out. But with these guys, oh. Uh, oh, no, that's their opinion of, uh, of Volumil, because they're at war with each other, aren't they? Because I had to pick a side between these two if I remember correctly or was it was it these guys i actually can't remember um i think it was i think it was these guys i had to pick a pick a side between starstream uh the enmity king has reached the stage of war now bogoslav from starstream is planning to plunder moon lake where is where is that oh there literally next door there we go but these guys of course are part of the uh, the alliance that we are kind of in here. They are the alliance heads, so we are part of this kind of... Is it the Free Cities? Is that what it remind me what it's called? Free Cities. There you go. The Alliance of Free Cities, and they are part of that. So I couldn't really pick these guys. So I had to kind of... I've had to kind of just kind of leave it alone. And what will be, will be. Uh, so anyway, let's get on with it. So we've got Bob currently um, studying for a rye field and mill. We've got uh, Meritra studying for temple. What did we learn? Did we... So you're learning that. What was the other thing that we just learnt? Oh, it was the peasant's house, wasn't it? I think we, we picked that up. We've got the prison ward now as well. Did we did we build such a thing? Ah, oh, it's being built there. That's what that is, isn't it? Yes. So we got that going. Um, we've also, of course, we should not forget that Bobette is pregnant and she will be uh she will be due in the not too distant future how long have we got 20 hours okay so this episode we are going to have a newborn so we are going to experience what this game becomes when you've got a newborn obviously we've got a child we've got uh, bob the second bob the third or bobette the second will be will be due what's with the gathering in here what the house party <gasps> What the fuck did I just see? What the fuck did I just see? Did I just see they're talking about death? And then Bobette in the same conversation? We need to stamp that out now. Uh, anyway, new empire. The civilization disappears gradually. The process can last for centuries, and ordinary citizens don't notice anything until the very end. But a ruler knowledgeable in history must understand that only by uniting warring kingdoms can he prevent the onset of the Dark Ages. Norland is now at a crossroads. The church has long been unable to cope with the variety of challenges its people face. Frequent wars, famine, and disease have become commonplace. Technologies and knowledge are not yet lost, but if nothing is done, they will soon disappear, and with them, civilization will vanish. There is always hope, but for that, you must unite 12 Norland provinces under your control, either as a king of a vassal state or as the leader of an alliance of free cities. Proclaim yourself the new emperor and challenge the church's inquisition. There you go. So that's our... Seems to be our goal. Right, we need to... Um, this is concerning. I need to find out... Does this mean they're thinking about death? I don't know. Maybe there's nothing going on there, but that, that's, uh, that was worrying. So anyway, so that is effectively our new... Our new target, our new campaign objective. Now, of course, we are in the Alliance of Free Cities, but they are the Alliance head. Oh, so are they. Interesting. Okay. So at some point then... Do we... Maybe we have to do something ourselves. Okay, we probably don't have to worry about it just yet. 
I think that's probably... Oh, declare yourself emperor. To declare yourself emperor, you must have control over 12 provinces. And you currently have zero under your control. Right, okay. So we've got some work to be done. Um, We could look to go left here. Our alliances are over on the right. So we don't want to start invading them or doing anything silly there. But we could go this way. Now, what are these guys producing here? Possible loot of 93... Just having a look. They're neutral, but they don't like our culture at all. So these guys are a target. These guys are neutral, so maybe Treewood is a good potential target to go after. They've got quite the lord, quite the number of lords. Uh, Edwin the King. They have a guest there as well. Hepperson, whoever you are. Uh, their army. The first time we came total cost, second okay, number of warriors and their strength. So the average average combat level of four, their army is five strong. I believe ours is stronger in that, is it not? We've got more people, but we're not an average, uh, not very strong as an average. So yeah, so that will probably be the, uh, see it again, look. These fucking little gossip, and they're all at it, they're all gossiping. Um, but anyway, yeah, so that might be our target. But first of all, we must learn to trade. We need to increase our reserves. We need to be able to uh, support ourselves. Who are you? Are you one of our one of our people? I think you must be. Former gangster carries a negative thought while serving in the army. Ah, oh, he might be one of the converted prisoners that we use in our army. So yeah, we need to we need to get learning. Let's speed things along. Is there any, anything being made over here? It looks pretty barren over here, doesn't it? We've got plenty of that, Rubitaga. Got plenty of flour. We've got plenty of drinks. So we're, it's, I think supplies, from a supplies perspective, outside of weapons and armor, I think we're actually doing okay. You guys here, this is our brewery. So we're producing moonshine. We get a bonus of plus one. The entire alcohol. Okay, also using the crest of nectar. Maritra is giving a bonus of forty-four. Tell us. I'm sure you should tell us how many it made per day. I thought it made more than that per day. Can we look at the statistical information? Can we see in here? So these are resources. So it's making 30, we're up 30 a day. Is that right? The amount of resources that have been produced throughout uh, the day is that. Resources spent. Is that column there, isn't it? Right, okay, sorry. That took me, a, for some reason that took me a second to work that out. So that's not telling us at the moment. Can we... Oh, let's go to yesterday. Here we go. So they're not drinking the moonshine. Is that right? They're just drinking the Rubitaga. And that, they'll, they'll be eating that, right? They won't actually be drinking that. That's a lie. Oh, they're buying it, of course, as well, aren't they? They don't actually just consume it. They have to pay for it. Okay. Uh, right, on we go. Bobette's... Feeling sick. How are we doing there? 16 hours to go. The clock is ticking. I wonder what will happen. And everything is calm at the moment. Everything is, is okay. We're obviously not going to give Bobette any work. I think we've taken her off of all duties, have we not? I don't think she has any... No, she's doing nothing, which is fine. We don't want to do anything. You're studying. What's that? Build a lumber... We've got a lumber mill, have we not? Yeah, we've got a lumber mill. We've got fuck tons of wood. Why would we... What? That's rubbish. We've already got a lumber mill. We don't need to worry about that. The prisoners are starving. Ensure the prison wars have wardens assigned to working. Ah, right. Okay, so here we go. We need... Have we got a warden? So who's the warden for this then? Working hours are from 17 to 24. 
We can move it, we can suspend work, or we can destroy the building. So who is our warden then? Um, uh, okay. And how, pray tell, do we do that? Prisoners, here we go. That doesn't really tell us. But we've got two prisoners. Um, okay, the unhappy ones. It doesn't tell us how we put a warden in. Is there is there some kind of Is there some kind of further knowledge that we need for this? Um let's have a go down through here. Nothing I can see in in the economic knowledge. Okay, I don't think that's got to do with it. No, I think I feel like I'm missing something here. Because usually you click on something and it would have a uh, a button there, wouldn't it? It would have a little button that you could assign people to work the job. Right, well, if I've not worked this out by the end of this video, people, if you've played this game and you know, please do say, please do pipe up and be a backseat gamer. I'm more than happy for somebody to do that. Oh, right, so we do we need to we need to probably pay our um uh, unemployed people, otherwise they're never gonna be uh able to afford any food, are they? So prisoners Yeah, that's fine. They can have a they can have a, they can have some moonshine, that's fine. So we're actually, if we're paying Rubitago is three, Moonshine is five. We give them a little, just a little bit more. Maybe that will keep them extra happy because they can actually save a little bit of money. So there we go. We're being very, very nice. Uh, daily statistics, mild hunger, frequent negative thoughts, severe hunger, frequent negative thoughts, severe hunger, fatal fatigue. And that's from the Warriors. Miss loved ones, mild hunger, goddess will punish me. No one's leaving, though. No one's actually leaving the town or the village. People have nowhere to pray yet. I'm working on that. We're trying to get a temple. Temple sorted. Um, do we need to upgrade that? What's wrong with the lumber mill that we have? Are we... We don't, we don't actively use the wood for anything else other than building, do we? So we're losing... Yeah, we lost 25 today because we built the prison ward. Okay, right. Okay, so we'll do, we'll do all, we'll do all of this. We'll give them what they want. Warriors. We'll pay them a little bit more. Let's let's see if we can't uh, make them make them happier. We're paying them eight, which means they can have flour, and they can have. In fact, they can have a rubatarga, and they can have some beer. Do we do we do we do this just to see if we can keep people happy? There we go. We'll, we'll do that. Unemployed get five. Peasants get seven who are working. Warriors get ten. There we go. Let's see if that increases the overall happiness of our people. Repulsive moonshine. Yeah, the, the piety need is becoming a problem. I don't necessarily think... And if we do decor, for example, if we were to do a statue, I don't think people use that as a place they can go and pray a drug den here nectar is sold okay uh, we're, oh we've got an altar oh we do have something we do have something they can use i didn't know this um where where would we, where do we want to put it is the is the question we don't want to put it too far out of the way do we let's put it over let's put it over this side put it over there and then we'll build a, a road. Thinking it like that. There we go. 
Right, there we go. Okay, that should sort that. I didn't realize we had that. I thought the temple was kind of the first building <clears throat> that we had that would be able to do that. That should improve things no end. Okay. Average mood is a 48, so hopefully this is going to increase everyone's piety. People, there'll be a lot of people who are probably going to go up there and uh, and do some praying. Goes to the temple. A strolling, going to the temple. Yeah, your overall oh, overall mood is uh, pretty shit. So let's hope that that solves the problem. Right, we're almost there. Look, we're almost there on the right field in the middle, and we're almost there on the temple. So hilariously, probably didn't need to build that. We could have just waited for the um, for the temple to be finished. We kind of need the, our man to come along with a caravan, don't we? Get some more stuff. Right, the knowledge has been learned. The rye field and the mill. So, resources. We've got a rye field, which can go... Uh, where do we want to put that? We'll put it... In a clash. If we put, if we put it there, is that not going to clash? Actually, no, it shouldn't. The, yeah, that should be okay. It's going to come straight down. And then we've got a mill here, and we can produce some flour. Where do I want to put this? We haven't really been very strategical or very good with our planning in terms of where things go. I'll put it over here. Let's build ourselves... A road that runs along here. We'll double it up a little bit just to... Match it all up. Yeah, we've not actually done a road out here, have we? There we go. We'll do a road out there like that so people can move around a little bit more. There we go. Right. So we're still hemorrhaging gold a little bit, but we've still got a decent amount in reserve. But this is going to be huge if we can get the flower going. Going along. Right, so here we go. Uh, war consequences. As a result of the war in the neighboring province of Moon Lake, emigration from there has increased. The refugees belong to the Vaughan culture, which is fine because that's us. The Holy Caravan will sell herb, a resource heavily traded by the province, at two times the price for several days, reflecting the economic impacts of the war. And that will last for three days. Okay. So here we go. That's an example, that's an example there of how... Um, things can uh, uh, things can change quite quickly, and the economic impacts and fluctuations of prices. Bob and Bobette are going on a date. I mean, they need to hurry up about it, right? She's <laughs> she gonna be uh, giving birth fairly soon. What's the, what's with the music? Right, I suppose the big question now is is that are we gonna get are we gonna see a big increase in mood because we're paying people more money, we're giving them the ability to buy beer rather than moonshine. If we start producing flour, we'll be able to produce better quality foods. What's the next thing we want to study? Hop field and beer is the next thing we want to learn. Bob can get cracking on that. I mean, Bobette has not got out of bed all day. Now, of course, don't forget, everybody, even though we're hemorrhaging 269 gold a day, Jesus Christ, we need to start trading. Um, yeah, don't forget, everybody, that we... There is a chance, of course, that this birth could go very badly. There is no guarantee that Bobette is going to give birth to a healthy baby and be healthy herself after going through labour. So there is an element of risk here. We pray that nothing happens and befalls upon the house of Bob. But there is a chance. Right, okay. We'll have to keep an eye on this. Average mood is creeping up. Average mood is now up to 40. I know it's only a very... It's literally a, a one tick up... Or one uh, score update. Ah, oh, look, the caravan is here. Uh, but it is a good thing. It is going up. And hopefully once everybody's had a day or two to get used to the new monies, the new uh, 
abilities they have to buy stuff, buy the stuff they want, drink nice beer. We should be okay. And they should hopefully uh, be in a better spot. It looks like they're all eating flour mainly. Now, of course, we are getting some money back as a result of doing this. But we're still, uh, we're still hemorrhaging a fair amount of money. Uh, right, so our holy caravan is here. Right, who is our best person for trade? Six. Lana is a four. You're so it's actually Bob. Uh, Bob, can you uh, can you come and talk to our to our man, the trader, please? We actually need to do some selling, I think, if we can. We've got a lot of Rubitaga to sell. Don't have much moonshine, annoyingly, because it looks like we are consuming quite a lot. Uh, temple knowledge is complete. That is good. Okay. Right, let's have a look. What books have you got for us? A bow proficiency. Your lords and warriors are twice as skilled. Okay. Uh, longevity. A special diet mental state will help slow down aging, causing it to begin 10 days later. Only affect lords who have personally studied this knowledge. Okay, so it's like a little... Uh, it's basically like some kind of like diet book in the Middle Ages. It's it's like... I don't know. It's like, it says Joe Wick's book. The Atkins diet in the uh, in the modern of of modern day in the medieval times. Uh, cor uh, correct cutting uh, fell trees yield twice as much wood in the province. That's pretty good. It's written in Varn as well. Persuasion Volume Two. Uh, the market ale, the positive thought brought on by drinking the flavorful ale, will be twice as strong if the drink was pr uh, produced locally within the province. It's written in Maca, which means only Lana could do it. So we'd have to learn it and then maybe get her to write it out in. Uh, the varnish is that, is that the language varnish fanatics terror terror against fanatics will not have a negative consequence that just gives us the ability to do flavorful ale teaching tanaya paper a uh, special composition protects all of your books from burning in case of a library fire interesting okay and a persuasion one there so no nothing immediately jumping at me i'm probably going to leave it just for this one in terms of what we want to buy or what what can we sell here and now, of course, herbs are coming in at, was it triple the price, whatever it is. So they're a bit on the pricey side right now. We've got a lot of rye. We've got an awful lot of Rubisaga. We've got tons of that. We've got a lot of wood as well. Can we sell some wood? Market saturation with the product. We can sell, sell some of that. Why are they only giving us... 32. Market saturation product 51 out of 76. Is it going down on the way? Because why are we only getting 32 gold for 40? That should be way more than that. If it's three gold a pop. Right, let's try this again. Oh, I see. Right, because we've got to, we've got to pay a tax for the warriors. I'd forgotten about that. Sorry. Okay. Uh, right, we'll give you a little bit of that. We're going to be, we'll be making some flour soon anyway. And then we're going to give you a whole bunch of wood. Like that. This is 131. Nothing else. We could really do with buying some more holy rings. I'm not going to lie. Because I think that is pissing our man Bob off. So we'll take uh, we'll take some holy rings. Is there anything else that of any value that we can sell? I don't really think there is. Unless we just the trouble is if we can't flood the market with loads of wood. Do a couple of a couple of units of beer because so we're gonna hopefully gonna start producing that soon anyway. Take some more flour. Okay, we'll do that. Take for 145. There we go. So we still, at the end of all that, lost money, but never mind. Effective alcohol plus thirteen. Yeah, we all we all have that. And look, everyone's having a lovely old time. Right, we can now, of course, build a temple. It's going to cost a hundred and fucking hell. Of course, it's going to cost one hundred and fifty wood after I've just sold a whole bunch, and it's going to cost ten iron. Right. 
Place of ceremony and burnings. Now, do we get rid of that and put our temple in? Because that only was... Praying at the outdoor altar replenishes 15 units of piety. Praying at the temple, including the morning service resources, 10 units. In addition, prophets perform weddings and funerals and visit the sick. Lords can deliver sermons here. Temples are a traditional place for the homeless people to spend the night. We don't have any homeless, to the best of my knowledge. So you get more piety from the altar than you do from going into a temple. Unless they're doing two things a day, so they do the morning service and then go for prayer later. I mean, the lords can do sermons. That's probably something that's worth looking at. Because that would mean that you can maybe just do like a massive boost of of, of piety by just having a uh, some kind of sermon be delivered and everyone be a little bit more happy. Uh, we are certainly not interested in getting any of these prisoners, that's for damn sure. Because we've got a few things we need to get under control anyway. Uh, the art builders have got some building to do. Right, we made a bit of money today after all of that. Would you believe? Gold balance, when that came through, was minus 14, but it is now plus 18 by the look of that. We paid 191 in wages. Uh, resources produced 122. Goods sold in local markets, 176. And resources invested in the economy, 165. No problems, no problems. Insufficient workers. Night patrol 7, day patrol 7. Are we saying that we don't have enough people to do that? Is that what that is suggesting? Not entirely sure. Right, Bobette, you must be close. Four hours to go. There be a lot of builder. Right, off goes the caravan man. And Bob the second is about to get rudely awoken. How long until you become a... Uh, It never tells me, does it? Oh, six years old. There you go. Well, I thought it would tell me here. Very odd that it doesn't tell me. Right, we've got some people on the uh, on the old night patrols. Countdown is on. One and a half hours to go. A child is born. You look you look awfully big. And she's praying. Are you happy? Child born plus twenty. Yeah, she's very, very pleased. Well, there we go. Well that was Uneventful. <laughs> right. Small, small child. Um, right. Sorry, that's the wrong button. There we go. So we have Bobette the second and Bob the second. So by praying, does that increase her piety? It does, so she can just pray herself. Pray at home on their own. Alright, so that's obviously where the the peasants can't because they're in sort of houses where they can where they can't do it. <laughs> she's gonna go drink beer. <laughs> so as soon as she's given birth, what does she do? She goes for a pint. <laughs> that's all new mothers do. Right, okay, let's move on. That was somewhat uneventful. I was expecting a bit more fanfare with that, you know? The way this game has been, the way the game kind of simulates feelings and emotions and moods and all that kind of stuff, I was sort of expecting to have a bit more. You've had a child born and you're still a, you're still a bit fucking grumpy. And you're hungry? Hunger doesn't help. And piety also doesn't. Right, we need our builders to get cracking today. What do we, we could also get uh, construction of the pig farm. Yeah, I think we, what do we want to do? We've got the mine, we've got the herbalist. 
the training grounds. There's, a, there's, there's an argument to be made for a lot of these things. I'm not sure what the scaffold is. What's the scaffold? Oh, that's where you um, uh, can, like, have public executions and shit like that, I think. Don't think we need that right this second. So we've done all of those. These are the people who have the knowledge. So here's here's the interesting thing. Let me just pause for a second. So these guys have got the knowledge, which is fine all the while they're alive. But we need... I'm just... Do you know what? I'm just going to try something. We're going to... You learned how to do the Ryefield and Mill, didn't you, Mr. Mr. Bob? So, Lord creates a book based on knowledge. The higher the Lord's intelligence level, the faster the book is written. Since the character is already familiar with this knowledge, the book is written known to be faster. It's going to require three paper. The action will be performed during the daily working hours of 9 till 6. Um, and the action triggers the need for rest. So, I'm just wondering, if we write a copy of that book, what do we do with it? What can we do with it? Does it mean that we can sell the book to the caravan trader? Is that a form of trade? Is there any kind of benefit to the kingdom or our small section of the kingdom, our little village? Is there any kind of benefit there that by having more than one copy of the same book, can it be taught quicker, for example? Can it be written better? <laughs> Just bullet bullet point it and <laughs> take away the long the long longness of the book, the, uh, the the number of pages and half it and bullet bullet point it. Can we do that? That would be kind of cool. I don't think it will. So, but I do kind of want to try it. Bob is currently studying Hopfield and beer right now. Um, and I feel like the pig farm wouldn't be the worst idea. Because it gets us meat. And meat is a valuable commodity to trade, to the best of my knowledge. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, do we do that? The mine. I mean, do we even have anywhere to mine here? I don't know. Got well, a tribute of wood coming in a few days. Um, hmm, okay. I think we do pig farm. You get learning. What does this want? Yes, I know. Well, you're you're going to do that. We need more temples. I know. I'm building one. Stop. Uh, right, Bobette. Um, what do we need to do it via the children? Yet yeah, you're being educated. Um, right. What do we need to do on these guys? I need to. It'd be nice if I had a screen that showed me. All of their informations. I don't think we really have that. Unless I can I do it from the world map in here? No, not really. Oh yes, I can. Right, if we hover over. Right, so no one I mean you're kind of a, a, a little bit of an all rounder. Bobette is very good in persuasion manners, not so good in trade. You're a good combat and good commander. I mean you're only a you're only holding on. I mean, I, I could be tempted to keep you. Your management skills are uh, are pretty good. Bob the second is is going up. Speed up the construction of the city. Build additional warehouses. Okay, well, well, we'll take a look at that in a minute. Bob has just gone up in trade level. So I think we were focusing on trade because I think trade is an area where nobody is really that good. Um, Maybe we train Bobette to be like a really intelligent, focused person. Or teaching actually could be quite good. Because nobody here appears to be a particularly good... Yeah, let's do teaching. So she can help educate future generations. So we'll do intelligence and teaching skills. And Bobette can do the teaching. So she is doing... Yeah, she is, she is responsible for doing all the teaching. She will become a better teacher as a result of doing that as well. She's remarkably large for a baby that was born just a few hours ago. Right, how are we doing? Right, so you're done. Um, make sure I can manage that one. Now all of a sudden we need 
We need more workers <laughs> all of a sudden. I think we've had, have we just had two people leave? I'm sure we had 17. I think we've had two people leave, you know. I'm sure that was 17. I bet the second already training hard. Love that. There is rivalry among... Oh, God, here we go. When one lord hates another, it can end in murder, and you'll end up with one corpse and one criminal, whom the whole family detests. If you can catch this lord in a good mood, use that moment to invite them to spend time or go hunting with their rival. If one of them is not too angry with the other, they might reconcile. Try scheduling lessons for them. The student will gradually improve their attitude towards the teacher. In extreme cases, you can arrange a duel. Duels can result in death of either combatants, but even if both lords survive, the desire to kill will be removed when the duel is over. And in case your lord is hated by the bishop, the lord can always beg for forgiveness. Okay, right. So who hates who? Where is the, the hatred coming from? Is it Lana and... Is it these two? Because these guys are all family. There's no way they hate you. So it's got to be those two, isn't it? And they're all pretty positive leaning towards the, uh, the royal family. I think it's these two that don't like each other. It hasn't really... It'd be nice if it told me. I don't know if that was just a... Oh, by the way... Yeah, it's difficult to know. Uh, no events for the current days. Oh, but the the uh, capital of Moon Lake has been successfully attacked by the army of Starstream. Um, so are they are they under the cosh right now? Then are they? Is there is there active battle ensuing? I mean, they've got a small army, but they're very, very skilled. They've got a bigger armor, bigger army, sorry, with less skilled people. So that could be an interesting fight. There's just so much intrigue with this game, isn't there? There's, there's just so much going on all the time. Yeah, we actually do need more people. These two prisoners... I think I can only put them in the army. I can't just release them. I can't pardon them, I don't think, and bring them just into into service, if you like. Right, we've got here. This is a level one mill. It's a very odd-looking mill, isn't it? Lana is going to manage that one. So do I need to get Lana to have a social? Oh, here we go. The king's ambitions. The king decides that it is time to announce the ambitions that will determine the future of your noble family. Fertile. The more population, the more strength. Increase the population of the province by 71 people. And that is recommended, apparently. Conqueror. Power leads to the prosperity of the dynasty. Add three vassals to your kingdom. Economic. The economy decides everything. Achieve daily production of goods worth 1,000... Fucking hell. We're only at 122 in terms of the... The daily production of our goods and what they're worth. That's a big ask, isn't it? I feel like just... I mean, that one clearly is the easiest one. Well, I say that, but that means I've got to keep people happy enough that we keep migration and immigration higher or highest. Um... Okay, I think I will go for the easy one. Look, look I mean, I'm still technically learning the game, right? So if if... If I can get a real handle on this game, the next time I play this through, then I can set myself more difficult challenges, shall we say. Um, if they're not pursued over time, the king will begin to feel like a failure. However, achieving them provides a strong morale boost. Uh, right, there we go. So we are 44. Your ruler has declared that during his reign, he will annex no, 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 vassal or ally provinces to the state. Yeah, so those are... That's not what I clicked. 
That's not what I clicked. The new empire, that United 12 Provinces one, that came in separately. I did not click Fruitful. Did I not change it? I thought I clicked it. I'm going to check that back in the uh, in the in the um, in the edit in the post edit. I'm sure I clicked the fertile one. Okay, whatever. Uh, right, the ter uh, today the ceremony of coronation will take place. We don't have a temple, unfortunately, to to do that with. And we also don't have people to work these. Uh, I mean, we've got a couple of prisoners that maybe can jump out and do some stuff. We might have to drop the number of workers down slightly. Healthy unemployed. Okay. So actually, no, we don't. We do have just enough people to do it. Uh, right. Temple is being built. Lovely. We've got almost all of the stuff over. Our wood is now completely disappeared. We have used all of our wood. And in fact, we don't actually have enough now to get it back. That is a problem. Uh, flour. So this is daily production levels, I'm presuming here. So, do until... We've got... Oh, we've already got... Filler. We've already got 31, which is why it's not saying we have any requirements. Let's do until 50. Now, of course, if we're just sending to the caravan, basically, that comes every day, we are going to flood the market and we are going to cause problems. However, if we can set up some trade agreements with some of our neighbours... We can sell however much we want. What do you trade? They they sell rye, they buy flavor. Everyone just wants beer. What do you buy? Oh, they buy flour. They're a vassal of Dust Valley. Which is fine. We have a good relationship with them. Do we look to try and get ourselves a uh, little trade agreement with them? We've already uh, got a peace treaty with them. I think we could do this, you know. I think we could go and maybe try and get a... Um... So, but how do, I mean, how do we do it? I mean, I guess we have, do we have to get the relationship to a good point, I guess. Do we send Bob? Depends the manners, skill of your envoy. Um, two deep conversations. Their attitude towards us, I don't think is is bad, is it? I'm pretty sure. They're, I mean, yeah. Other than they're being jealous about the wealth. Okay, I think we can do this. I think we can maybe go and um This one does not you regard you highly enough currently the ratio between you and plus it must be twenty five to invite him to the province, okay. Do I just need to oh Yeah, I think we go and uh, spend some time with him. Two deep conversations. Spending time together plus two. As a result, Bob will think about mocked meat slash mood. Just we will think about had a great life together plus four, mood plus 12. Okay. It's a fifth, basically a 50 50 on the good deep conversation after the hunt. Um, relationship with the king got plus 18 that'll take us to 28 that might give us enough you know but Bobette is 
Yeah, we could send Bobette, couldn't we? Let's, all right, off you go, Bobette. You're going to be my envoy. I'm sending the queen. And it's only, it's only, uh, it's only there, isn't it? Sorry, here. So it's not exactly a, uh, a long journey. But she will, uh, she will make, make haste. Yeah, look, so we've got the prisoners doing, doing work in here, which is lovely. Okay. Right, well, I think uh, I think we're going to leave things there. I think this is a decent little stopping point. We've got Bob, we've got Bobette going off at Meritra X. What the fuck does X told mean? Google. Okay, it's positive. It's uh, it's lavishing praise on somebody. Right, okay, we're happy. Um so Meritra, Meritra is uh, lavishing praise on Bob. I think when the, I mean the time comes, we've still got these guys for how long have we got them for before they disappear? It's ten days, isn't it? Before they before they go, doesn't seem to give us. Uh, here we go. Look, the Lord can be assigned to the same task as your contract within five days. is currently plus 14 so we need to do, we need to do some uh, some socializing so bob needs to play dice with another lord the outcome of the game is quite random but there's largely influenced by the difference in the player's intelligence skill and the bet will be three oh they play for the holy rings interesting okay a uh, conversation will occur in which characters can share knowledge with each other i said i was going to end just now didn't i i'm getting back into it again uh, but only knowledge that uh, others do not already know Basic probability of knowledge transfer. Basic level knowledge grey. Advanced. All oh, right, so they can actually. That's interesting. So just as an example, so Meritra has learnt. Is it going to tell me what she's learnt in here? Yeah, the temple. So is that suggesting that if we have a social conversation of wise levels, that there is a chance that she will teach Bob about the temple and vice versa? Each skill point in teaching adds 3% to the probability of sharing knowledge. The enlightenment trait increases the chance by 35%. If the character is an elder, the chance increases by 20. Um, right, so actually I don't think there's a huge amount of chance, isn't there? Because both of them are shite at teaching. So that's not probably going to do anything. Um, Bob's manners are pretty shite, but I think, they'll, I think they'll have a good I think they'll have a good chat. So we'll do that. We'll allow them to have good conversations. Bob told a new joke. He's heard a new one. Any statistics? Right, okay. Here's a quick point. The last time we did a daily statistics, everybody was moaning about lack of food, were they not? And I increased everyone's money, and now there is nobody moaning about uh, food. Average mood in the Warriors is only 19, so that is a problem. Expected migrants, 5. So we'll go up to 20. Holy Sophia has forsaken me. We need more temples. Yeah, the goddess will punish me. So we need... Is this finished? It is. We need guards. Oh, hang on. No, I've clicked on the wrong thing. No, it has not finished yet. We need more wood to come through from, uh, from the people working over there. But anyway... They're off having a lovely old, having a lovely old time. Right, okay, we are going to end there because otherwise I'll just go off on tangents. Um, we've got Hopfield and Beer nearly done. Pig Farm is on its way. we got Bobette off on an uh, uh, envoy mission. She is hopefully going to increase relations and hopefully we can look to build our first trade agreement where we can start sending flour. If that happens, we need to really ramp up the production of flour. We've only got 20 at the moment. We're only making plus eight per day, apparently. So where yeah, we need to keep an eye on that and see if there's anything we can do to increase uh, only one worker, which is kind of annoying. It did, there was something about um, the, what was it? Uh, it was a marketplace. No, was it marketplace? Or No, warehouse, wasn't it? Have we got a warehouse somewhere here? Am I being blind? Market, no, no, hall, tavern, drug den, no. Oh, warehouse, there we go. Place for storing resources, distribute wages, and a building where you can hire additional additional builders. Okay. And it helps 
uh, reduce the time of character spend transporting resources. So we could put like a warehouse maybe at the top, maybe one over here somewhere where we're producing stuff and maybe one down here. We'll see. But uh, yeah, anyway, look, we, we've got some things going on. We've got our newborn. Everything went smoothly with that. Thankfully, no issues for Bobette and Bobette the second. Yeah, I think that was a decent episode. It's weird because it sometimes feels like this came like nothing really happens, but actually quite a lot has happened. Things move along at a fast pace and sometimes they don't actually feel like they do. So yeah, thank you very much everyone for watching. I'm really enjoying this game still. It's, it's absolutely fantastic. And I will see you all in episode number four.